Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. So I'm Matt Sidney. I'm the president and CEO of a company called Pickwell out of Philadelphia. Um, basically, we are a SaaS software development company that has created a, a machine learning algorithm to help individuals pick the right plan or the optimal plan for them and their families. And so before I jump into the presentation, um, this organization was basically the brainchild of a series of Wharton professors, behavioral economists, health economists, um, and even a, a law professor who had decided that this you know, big, hairy, audacious problem uh, is only getting worse. Uh, complexities in healthcare are not going away, regardless of what happens with, uh, with Obamacare. Um, it is going to, um, it's going to still be pretty complex, and uh, private exchanges aren't going anywhere. Um, federally funded exchanges, maybe. We don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're, I don't think anybody really knows what's going to happen next. It's a wild ride in, in Washington. So um, Pickwell, though, as, a, as an organization, really focused its attention on trying to personalize and address the, really a core issue, which is uh, a lack of transparency of process, a lack of health literacy, and most importantly, a lack of convenience. Um, for those that um, are working with either individuals or groups, making decisions or that you're, for your, you know, helping your, your employees or your subscribers or your members make decisions around healthcare is really hard. It's a, some really hard decisions, and it gets only harder the older we get, specifically once you enroll in Medicare for the first time or if you're help helping a loved one enroll in Medicare. So when we think about, whoops, when we think about the big problem that we're trying to solve, there's about $300 billion in waste that has been identified. And really, that comes in the form of overconsumption, misuse, um, or overprotection. People do not understand what the difference between a PPO and a qualified high deductible health plan, or an HSA, or an HRA, and really, what does it really mean to them? Typically, this transpires, this decision transpires, open enrollment, or AEP if it's, uh, if it's on the Medicare side, and people are asked to make a choice with very, very little information. If they do have more information, it may be in print or volumes uh, uh, of PDFs. Really difficult. And so the question that we wrestle with at Pickwell is, is how do I make this easier and make it understandable to help elevate their literacy, number one, to take into consideration things that are important to them, not just their health, by the way. There are other things that, that need to be considered, like capacity to pay. Can they afford a plan, or can they afford a plan that they've selected if they have a catastrophic, catastrophic event? So how do we do this? So Pickwell itself has, uh, think of us as sort of a big data engine, right? So we've taken uh, claims information. We go out and acquire claims information, and then we get it from our partners as well. We take that information in, and we, we, that feeds the machine learning algorithm, OK? This engine is then plugged into our partners. So Pickwell has a series of partners today. Um, we do not stand up our own website and offer it to people. What we do is, is we partner with other organizations, large brokerages, health plans, exchanges, both private and state funded exchanges, not federally funded exchanges, um, in which we plug into their experience to help enhance their experience and make sure that the experience that they're providing is an optimal experience for their membership. And so we ask for a few pieces of data. It's a very simple process. We're asking for things like gender, date of birth, what prescription drugs are on, who are their doctors, how important are their doctors, household income, and risk tolerance. And obviously, we ask the question. We don't talk about risk tolerance, per se. But we're asking, trying to get to the heart of, are you interested in a, in a sort of a traditional PPO with more money up front or less money in the back end, vice versa, right? We then drive that through the engine. And what it does is it feeds information back to the individual by force ranking their options. So in Medicare, in Philadelphia in particular, when you start including all of the various choices that you have and all the various carriers and the permutations of those choices, you can have a couple of hundred choices. I don't know who, for the first time, has ever enrolled in Medicare or helped a loved one enroll in Medicare. It's very difficult. So that's, this is basically how we do it. From a, from a triple lens, right, as we think about what we're adding is we do bring ROI because we shorten the process for call centers and for the website. Um, from a perspective of the experience, I think that stands on its own. And then planning, we help our partners identify the right types of plans to develop. So what are we looking for? Uh, and what am I most interested in is I'm looking for partners. Uh, we want to continue to drive data through the system. And so the more aggregation, um, 
of data and lives, the better the, the uh, algorithm gets. Um, we're also looking for um, opportunities uh, to bring new engineers on and data scientists, which are always tough to get. So thank you very much.